Hi friends, this is Mehta from CATCAM Tutorial. Today we are going to our fifth part of wrench, wrench project. So let's start. Choose front plane, sketch. Choose a straight slot. And draw one oblong here. Exit from the oblong. Choose the smart dimension. Keep 18 mm distance. Keep radius 7.5 mm. Okay. Now choose the origin point. Shift. Make coincide. Click OK. Now choose line and select this point and again go back and draw a one curve okay now again go back okay up to here now go to here exit from the line this is our one one type of curve created now choose the smart dimension keep radius 15 mm this radius keep 12 mm now assign some relation choose this radius this arc this arc make tangent the same as here this arc this arc make tangent okay now choose this line shift center line and this arc make symmetry now see our picture is looking very nice go to features choose extruded boss choose mid plane keep 13 mm choose for the planes click ok now our first part is created this is our first part now again go to front plane sketch click normal any side it's up to you first side is better choose center line for construct construction line and draw from origin again choose the same construction line draw one vertical line now exit from the line now choose line and start to draw one structure one is straight line at some certain angle okay now go back and draw one arc okay now again go back and draw one more arc it keeps outside little okay now again go back and draw one more arc okay now again go back and draw one more small arc now exit from the line we drawn one two three four arc so now let's assign dimension choose smart dimension choose angle 15 degree okay now for this radius choose this radius point from this origin line 
keep 85 ml keep radius 100 ml the same as second point from origin line keep 95 mm and radius keep 100 mm the same as third point from the origin point keep 150 mm keep radius 100 mm the same as fourth po arc point from the origin line keep 160 mm keep the radius 100 mm and from end point to origin line keep 180 mm okay now go to feature extruded boss keep 10 mm keep mid plane keep this one distance thickness 10 mm click ok again click edit choose here mid plane ok now our structure is ready this is our second part second jaw jaw part this is our wrench second jaw now choose right plane sketch click on normal choose center line and draw one center line from origin now exit from the line choose corner rectangle and draw one rectangle now exit from the rectangle choose smart dimension keep 5 mm and the length of rectangle keep 70 mm the distance from top keep 12 mm ok now choose this line center line and this line and click make symmetric now this is this rectangle on center go to features select extruded cut choose mid plane and just drag it to cut throughout click ok now see the slot is cut this is what we want go to reference geometry select axis and choose this upper curve we want a axis temporary axis cylindrical click ok now the axis is created choose right plane sketch click on normal ok now our axis is uh, visible choose line and draw a line from our axis up to our axis to here and close this ok select this line select our axis shift this line make collinear so now our geometry with axis line
now assign dimension one mm angle defined forty five degree keep five point five mm now distance from top to bottom keep eight point seven five mm okay Now go to feature and select revolve cut and choose this bottom line. Click OK. Now see the inside portion is cut. This is what we want in our clamp. Now choose front plane, sketch, click normal, again click normal. Yeah, we want this face upside. Now we will create a structure here. Select this outside circle, click convert entities. Now it is converted. Choose a center line and draw one center from the circle vertical line up to origin. Again choose the same line, now exit from the line, choose the smart dimension and assign angle, keep 135 degree and the length keep 18 ml. Ok, choose line and from this line Choose line and draw from this line to here. Exit again, choose line from the end point to here to here to here to center now exit from the line now we will assign some relations select this mid line shift this center point make midpoint ok now the same as choose this construction line shift this line make perpendicular select this line press shift this circle make tangent ok the same as here choose this line press shift select this circle make tangent ok choose a smart dimension select this select this center line and keep the degree 152 degree ok this is better this is what we want now our all the relations are created choose trim select this outside part Okay, go to feature, select extrude box. Choose this one and this. Now exit it. Go to sketch, choose trim entity, trim this end point and this point also. This point also. Now, this is our 
base okay select feature select extruded boss now see the whole portion is selected keep 13 mm choose mid plane click ok now see our portion is created choose fillet keep 10 mm select inside click ok now the our second jaw or you can say second handle is now this is our second handle or part created this is our fifth part now save it part 5 yes please subscribe our channel for more videos there are many projects related to solidworks this is the wrench projects this is a normal wrench and don't forget to share and like our channel for more videos and do not forget to share this video thanks for watching